Hi, everybody. Hi, host Silver. I'm coming to you from directly in front of this big pile of good stuff. In today's video, we'll take a look at about a dozen kilogram bars. Should be fun. Kilogram bars are pretty good size. If you have a lot of silver, I do. So I have uh, a lot of 100 ounce bars and a bunch of kilogram bars. This is one of my favorites. Uh, it's the Scottsdale Stacker. I love that backside. Um, it's got cool toning, but you can't really see it so much in this video. Love that thing. And then I've got one Geiger kilo bar. I had a whole ton of Geiger stuff, and uh, one of my strategies with stacking, and it should be one of yours too, is you sell when the time is right. And about two years ago, the premiums on the Geiger things were really, really large. So I sold most of them, still have that one. All the different kilo bars that I have are pretty, you know, just low and moderate premium. These are four. Valcambi bars. Pretty nice. They've got a uh, serial number and then that matching COA. I grabbed those actually maybe four or five years ago, four years ago at a place called Bellevue Rare Coins. Pretty cool stuff. I keep most of uh, the kilos in baggies just to keep them looking nice, but uh, it doesn't really matter, especially on a lower premium bar like those. Got the cream filled chocolate today. Look at that. That's a beautiful thing. You know what they say? Cream filled snacking? Better have a knacking. And I do. No! <laughs> These are pretty much identical to those Valcambis. These are metal ore bars. I got those when they first came out. Nice bars. It's got kind of a a um, brushed finish on those, a little different than most. Very cool. There's always talk in the stacking world about whether you should own large bars or not, and I'll share a video specifically on that, but there are a couple of reasons why it's just fine. If you have a whole bunch, if you know what you're gonna do with it when you're done, and you got it cheap, that's, uh, those are the rules. Watch for a video on uh, more details about how I think about the big bar question. I do love this one though, RMC. It's got some really cool golden brown toning on it. Can't really see it in this light too much, but that's the way it goes. I love this one. This is an example of one that won't stay in my perma stack, which is what I call all of this low premium stuff. This one actually is an older kilo from Silvertown. Got those uh, classic Silvertown bubbles, man. You can look at the back of a Silvertown bar and know it's Silvertown. Yep, very cool uh, frosted finish on that too. Cool bar and in that size, and if you see one in a 50 ounce, you can get pretty decent premiums on those. This is another one that actually has a higher premium. OPM, Ohio Precious Metals. This is a great kilo bar. It's also got that, uh, similar to the Silvertown, it's got that frosted finish on it. Extruded bar, very cool. Love that thing, but it has a higher premium than I'm looking for in my perma stack. So that one will eventually get uh, moved on. Last one, I guess that makes a total of 12, dudes, is, uh, is this Johnson Mathy bar. I even remember I got this set uh, here locally uh, and I paid 600 bucks for it. Love it. That was, uh, I don't know, maybe seven years ago, something like that. Cool. Just an older JM bar. Not a, a large premium on that, but maybe a little bit more than um, I'm looking for in the permastat, which includes this low premium silver and gold and junk silver. 
Well, that's it for this time. We'll take a look at 20 100 ounce bars next time and uh, maybe a few other things. Take care, everybody. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. See you again.